The lads have been class. Um, couldn't have gone on with them better, to be fair. Um, such a nice group of boys. And uh, the city, yeah, I mean, I walked around it on the first few days and I've been here a couple of times, but it's just unbelievable. Like, you can't find a bad area. So everything's just so nice. So, yeah, I'm loving it at the moment. It's a great place. I'm looking to really get stuck in next season. So it's great to come meet the lads, get in the gym a bit, get to know all the coaches, the system, so I can really get into it next season. So, yeah, I'm really excited. Really glad I came up early. Yeah, well, obviously I've come from uh, an athletics background, which is quite a weird way, but I mean, rugby, people always kind of think of me as an athlete, but rugby was always my favorite sport. So I uh, played that since a young kid um, and kind of just did athletics because I was fast in rugby, but um, took a few years out of the game for athletics, for Great Britain stuff, and then I've come back to rugby. But yeah, just, just spe speed really, love to get on the ball, love to get touches, like a bit of a kicking game, like my left boot. So um, as an ex-footballer, but uh, yeah, no, just like getting about the park, running about, having fun, to be honest, getting stuck in. I mean, it looks amazing right now, doesn't it? But um, yeah, I, I wasn't really sure which my favourite turf or grass, but I think I'd definitely play better on turf. Like, it's going to be fast all year round, so it's kind of perfect for me, to be honest. So yeah, I'm really excited to get out there, especially with crowds back next year. It'll be amazing. Yeah, so I kind of at 18 had the decision to go rugby or athletics and I thought um, I was desperate to go rugby but at the time the athletics was taking off at a way faster rate and I thought it was better to do athletics and then rugby rather than do rugby and then go into athletics with some busted up legs and <laughs> shoulders uh, so yeah I went into athletics did a couple of years with Great Britain juniors I uh, got to European junior final a couple of British champs senior finals for 200 and uh, yeah, I had a really good run. And then a couple of niggles through the way and found myself uh, jumping back into rugby as soon as I could about three, four years later. And it just took off from there. Did a bit of sevens, then got back into Bristol uh, Academy again. Um, and it's just, been, it's just been crazy since then. Well, the link with my family's from my grandmother, who's from Govan in Glasgow. And my mum, my mum and her sisters, sisters were born in Glasgow. My mum was born later in Carlisle, around there, and moved down to the southwest when they were about 10, uh, to Bristol. And uh, they've just always been quite, they're always been Scotland, England fans, both of them, and sort of my grandma's full, fully Scottish. So yeah, it's always been around me, always been there. I've been quite interested, mainly through the, the story of my, my great-grandfather. I have quite a link to him. Apparently, I'm very similar to him. Uh, he's left-footed and colorblind like me was left back football for Queen's Park, uh, left wing, which is I was left wing in football. So quite a tie to him as a person, to be honest. But no, yeah, there's always been uh, Scottish supporters massively in my family. So it's always been a dream to come up here and play rugby. And I mean, God, landing in Edinburgh as a city, couldn't get much better. They couldn't be much prouder now at the moment. My mum is so happy that I've, I've come up here and done this. She spent most of her holidays, her whole life in Glasgow and, and around Scotland, Inverness. Um, so, yeah, she couldn't be more proud. But I, can't, I don't even want to think about it. Yeah, putting on that jersey for the first time would be an incredible, incredible achievement for me as a person, to be fair, getting a senior a debut. But we'll have to just get our head down in pre-season and, and look for that next year. Oh, a lot of boys stood out, very funny lads, um, especially Scottish in general, just... Good crack, a lot of funny guys. I think the one that stood out probably straight away was Blair. Um, very talented, very funny guy. So that's a bit of me really, just likes to enjoy himself, has a lot of talent. I think like can sort of draw that from myself and and he just stood out straight away in the first session, uh, kind of taking the mick out of my kit that was extra large. But <laughs> yeah, no, nah, he's a good lad. And uh, But a lot of the boys, every, everyone's been classed. He's not a bad bone here, so. It's a great place to be. Unbelievable. I mean, it is actually still weird now, to be honest, to think that three lions. I think it'll be weirder when, when I see them out there after having trained with them, seeing them out there, putting on that Lions jersey. It's kind of surreal at the moment because um, it only comes around every four years. I mean, I was a younger kid when this last happened. So it's unbelievable that three boys have ended up there. And I mean, but they fully deserve it. Like watching them through the Six Nations, every one of them was like incredible. So I think it was, I knew it was going to come the whole time. N none, none of the three were a surprise at all.
so but it's just such a cool experience yeah i've been asking the boys like where to go where to look around um but yeah i don't really know i, I think i'm just going to take my pick i'm looking to i'm debating yeah in the summer break just getting in my car maybe getting a few friends up here and just driving around, booking myself in a few places. My mum does go to Inverness a lot, so I would like to go check that out. She goes, does a half marathon there each each year. Um, I, I need to pop over to Glasgow, see sort of family stuff. But yeah, no, I do loads of places I need to explore. It's kind of all just happened so fast, so I haven't really picked out where to go.